the old path, Capricorn. And the new path is that you want people who are independent, equal give and takers, that people that can bring to the table what you bring to the table. And trust me, Capricorn, you whether you know it or not, Moon card, you bring a lot to the table. Hey there, Capricorn. How are you? It's your first right here. Nice to see you again. Welcome and welcome back to the 100 Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So let's read some cards for you, Capricorn. We're going to start off with an Oracle deck, which will set to the read. And it's a general read, so take it resonates and leave the rest. And it's for all Capricorn placements. So for you, have Capricorn in your chart. Uh, it's three of them. I don't want to take three. I do not want to take three. If it comes back up. Just one card for Capricorn to set the tone of the reading. Let's take a look. We're just one for the cast of Capricorns. Right there. Interesting. False indigo. Immersion and intuition. When you reach the end of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. Kyle Gibron said that. False indigo. Immersion and intuition. That is really deep. Bottom of the deck, Clematis. Intelligence and mental beauty, which goes with this saying, when you reach the end of what you should know, which is intelligence, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. And on this one, it says wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Is this you tapping in Capricorn to your psychic senses? Are you Capricorns out there really feeling intensely, especially during this cancer season? Like things that you know has come to an end, and now it's things that you sense. Mm. Capricorn. Let's see what the tarot has. Oh, they want me to shop like it. Let's see what this tarot... <laughs> what does the tarot have? For the cast of Capricorns. Let's take a look. The cast of Capricorns. The Capricorn Collective. Right there. Look at you coming out. Queen of Pentacles. First card out. Energy that crosses is the Page of Wands. Curiosity. Ooh, you getting curious about your psychic abilities, Capricorn. The... By yourself is saying balance that out so you don't go to Lulu. <laughs> okay, focus in foundation. The Empress, Capricorn, I'm loving this in the past. Two of Wands, a path change in the future. The Five of Wands, people don't like it. They're going to start trying to gaslight you, gassing you up into going back to what you knew, to what you know. Mm, how you see yourself. Nope, this is Sagittarius energy. You are marching, charging. Charging forward. Should, you might want to look, Capricorn, at the Sagittarius, because I just I just did two Sagittarius reads, and Capricorn was all over it. So um, if you're a cusper, if you're like a December Capricorn, in like closer to the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, um, how other people see you as being broken is really just... Having been through it, Capricorn, with that Nine of Wands, I'm feeling this, not just wounded warrior, but beat the hell up. And and not physically, that's the thing. I thought this is, this is, this is different. Um, hope and her fear. Opportunities with that Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning. And the outcome, potential outcome, is the Knight of Cups your creative and i'm hearing your creative spark when you put these two nights together that energy 
of creativity and the spark to get things done. Beautiful. Now, ball and deck. And that which you might not see. Oh my goodness, your intuition, Capricorn. Oh, this one's sticking, so I gotta see what's holding you back. Oh, you. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. You are holding yourself back. Jeez Louise, do I know this energy. You're your worst enemy, aren't you, Capricorn? Mm-hmm. Capricorn. All right. Let's go deeper on this, Capricorn. Let's go deeper on this. All right, Cap. Capricorn. Success. You didn't want me to see that, Capricorn. You did not want me to see your success or your independence right there. Do you not see your success and independence? Capricorn. For some of you, you don't. For some of you, you feel you're just a curious little page looking into whatever it is. I'm interested in, you know, gardening. I'm interested in, oh, I don't know, energy healing. I'm interested in, hmm, I don't know, psychic abilities. And I'm just curious. I'm just curious about astrology. I'm just curious about tarot. I've never really clicked on tarot, and here you are, right? And what you cannot see is your own success and independence. Justice, higher self. Seven of Swords, you're lying to yourself, Capricorn. Yes, indeed. And the Eight of Cups. Look at these colors. Your higher self is telling you that you have done a fantastic and amazing job at gracefully, with dignity and grace, walking away from those that lie, steal, gas you up, and you've emotionally detached from these lies. Now, if, these, is this, if this is your higher self saying you've been lying to yourself, you have been pulling yourself down, pulling yourself out of this six of wands and nine of coins energy and into a lower frequency based on maybe your religious beliefs, maybe based on your family, maybe based on the community, um, the pressures that go on in in your um, communities, your neighborhoods, your, your school communities, your work communities, whatever this means to you, that you have balanced all of this out. And now it's time to step up into who you are, Queen of Pentacles, with the success and the Nine of Coins, the success of the Six of Wands, and the independence of the Nine of Coins. And you, Capricorn, are stepping into your truth and integrity and away from lies and away from the emotional draining of your environment to become this empress and to focus in and to see who you truly are. You might feel like a queen of pentacles, but you are that empress. Four of swords taking a rest from I think these are your own thoughts, Capricorn. I really do. I really feel that you have been really hard on yourself. And so you're quieting the mind, maybe meditating, resting, mm. to find that happiness or to achieve it or in amongst all of the lies, the chaos that you might be working with, that you might be living within, that you might be exposed to. This is finding your inner happiness, finding your inner independence, finding your inner success. Do you see the color difference from that? And so do you see in this resting card, you see the darkness of what your higher self is trying to communicate to you. And then you see the light with that sword of truth, which is down. And that sword of truth, when the swords are down for me, it sacrifices that you, Capricorn, have endured. Nine of Wands. A path change, a fork in the road, 
with that two of wands. Yep, you were disappointed with the path that you were on, weren't you, Capricorn? And you are looking for those who see you, see your value, see your worth, see your generosity. And, and this puts in mind of, I'm just going to use my children as an example. Sometimes they will, uh, when I say no to whatever it is that they've asked, they don't see the reasons behind it, that I'm doing it what's best for them. Because if it was what was easiest for me, can I go over to grandma and grandpa's house? And I'll say, no, they've gone into town. Or no, they, they want to be by themselves, right? Spend time with themselves. You were over there yesterday or the day before or, you know, the last couple of days. Let's just give them a rest, four sorts, right? And I'm using this as an example out of my own experience. And they don't see that what I'm doing as their mom as my parents daughter is really balancing out both parties both generations saying no to one to say yes to another and what my kids because they're young don't understand is that when I say no it's because I love them I'm really feeling that with this six of cups I said cups, it's pentacles, interesting. With the six of pentacles, do you see how all the hands are out? Not everyone has a coin in their hand. This guy does, but these two don't. So you are being very thoughtful, very strategic, very um, mindful of who gets your time, effort, and money, of who gets your attention, because attention is the new currency. And when you do, the people who don't get, oh, get mad at you, Capricorn. How dare you? You're so greedy. You're so mean. You're so whatever. Us Capricorns get it a lot. Same as Scorpios. That when we do what's best for others, we get put down. We get guilted. We get shamed for being fill in the blank. Mean, stingy corrupt, whatever, right? When really at the time we were doing what was best for others. This is people finally in the past, when you've taken that path change and won off of that of disappointment and you don't entertain those that lie to you and disappoint you, those that have left you emotionally and just want you for your queen of coins money. That this six of coins then moves into, no, just straight up now. Nope, you've disappointed me. Nope, I'm taking a different path. Two of wands. And this, in the near future, could stir up some trouble. With the five of wands, this is combative, this is competitive, this is um, just squabbling, is what I'm feeling. And you don't see it. With the moon card here, you do not see the squabbling. You, you've turned your back to it. And the four of cups. You're not interested in petty. Let's just put it that way. You are focusing in on your independence. Whether you know it or not, Capricorn, you are focusing in on your success and dependence while all of those who rely on you to give them their success and give them their independence. They're not, they're dependent on you. Whether it be children, whether it be parents, whether it be um, other family members, relatives, employees, community members. That if Capricorn doesn't do this, if Capricorn doesn't book the thing, the, the hall or the whatever, this whole thing doesn't happen because we've put it all on Capricorn. That was the old path, Capricorn. And the new path is that you want people who are independent, equal give and takers, that people that can bring to the table what you bring to the table. And trust me, Capricorn, you whether you know it or not, Moon Card, you bring a lot to the table. And you have a lot of people depending on you. And so when you pull back and Four of Swords, it's like they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They're not independent. And they're not happy about it. 
if Capricorn takes a break. And here you are, Capricorn. This is how you see yourself. And you see yourself as the Knight of Wands, getting the stuff done. Five of Coins. We got the Five of Cups and the Five of Coins. These people that are quote unquote, and I air quote, relying on you are using you and you're beginning to see it. Capricorn, you're beginning to see it. The High Priestess is telling you so. That which you might not see, you do actually see. And that is what you are feeling. And it goes to the very first card. When you reach the end of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. That's why the High Priestess in the read today has come up for you twice, Capricorn. You came up the first card out. Queen of Coins. And here you are. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Sun. You're taking a different path. Two of Wands. And that path is that of a higher frequency. You're ascending, Capricorn. Away from all of this. Away from the Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, away from all of this. And you might not even be aware that you're doing it with the Moon card here. People see you have gone through a lot, Capricorn, with the Nine of Wands. And they're seeing it online. Page of Swords. And the Ace of Coins. They see your worth. They see you. They see you, Capricorn. And what you might not see with the moon card here are people that see you as a golden opportunity. Now, those that have known you, that you've known probably since childhood, your whole life, they know. They know you're a golden opportunity. They've been taking that opportunity. And here it is. Your hope and our fear. Communication. Are you in the communication field, Capricorn? And the three of coins, I'm loving it. This, when I say people see you as the golden opportunity, people who have coins themselves, who are holding it kind of, you know, holding cards close to the chest, they're holding their coin close to the chest, right? They're holding that, they're holding back until they find someone like you, Capricorn, who they can invest in, who will invest in them, who whether they invest in them or not are still financially independent. That's you. If they walk away from you, you're still good. And to investors, who want to invest in you and who have skills themselves because the three of coins is also a skill card. If they see that your skills are, are really legit, that's when they're ready to invest six of coins because they know that you will show up, that you will be there. How are you showing up Capricorn? And when new people, when you start going down that, that different path and it's just with, I dare say, it starts with the mind. It starts with how you think, how you think about yourself, how you think about your work, how you think about where it is that you want to go. And when you start thinking of a higher vibration, that's when you start attracting in those of the same vibration. See, people can't understand that when you're on a different vibration, people don't understand you. So if you're born into this world at a different vibration, at a higher vibration than even that of your parents, your siblings, your family, you're the black sheep. You're misunderstood. No one understands me. And yet you still continue to move on, doing the things that you are told to do. Capricorns tend to do that, to follow the rules and go the way that their families have, I don't want to say set out for them, but they do. And they achieve. And they are successful. And it looks to me with this Knight of Cups, Capricorn, you're going to be successful in an area, in a creative area, that you might not even have dreamt that you would go down that road. Maybe you were in finances. Maybe you were, I don't know, um, let's pick a, a financially, an investor or an accountant, right? And you're really doing well, six figures, and as an accountant, because you handle big accounts. And now you, you, you've almost like you have, you have reached and achieved everything that 
you dreamt of. And that's where this card comes into play. Immersion and intuition. And when we have the high priestess twice and you see yourself as the high priestess Capricorn, you know you're going down a path that you can't see where it's going to end up. And that's where you have to trust in yourself, in your skills, in your ability to listen to your intuition, follow that guidance from your higher self, which is your soul self. Mm. To go down a path that you've never been down. And it's exciting, night of wands, and scary all at the same time. Knight of coins. Coins. <laughs> Knight of cups. See, I called it. I, I could have easily didn't, but did. And the lovers. This is a choice. A choice. And it goes back to that path choice. And it's the, the choice between fear and love. And when I have the lovers and the star, Clarifying the Knight of Cups. This is you choosing your creativity, what it is, what it ever, whatever it is that you create, right? I create tarot reads. That's what I do. And this is taking that choice and saying, you know what, I'm going to put my all into this. Whether it be something creative online with the Page of Swords, whether it be something creative in your community, whether it be something creative that you brick and mortar have a, have a store for, whether it be online store or brick and mortar store. You are taking it, but it's something completely different than you've been doing. So say you've been an accountant and you're really good with numbers. You're really good with numbing, with numbing, with money, Capricorn. And this side gig, this, this creative, maybe you're a musician, maybe you're a painter or, or a sculptor, or you do stained glass, something that's you just do on the side, you knit, you crochet, you sew, you do something that's different. No one would ever guess at work that, that you do stained glass, as an example. Until you bring those little stained glass pieces, oh, where'd you, oh, I make them, oh, how much? Five bucks, here you go. And you sell everything that you bring, and then you do it again. Oh, I got more. These are bigger pieces. This is 25 bucks, 50, 100. And then you start getting, can, can you do, you know, uh, custom work? Oh yeah, give me some measurements. Let me see what you got. And yeah, I can fit a piece of stained glass in that window. Sure. Yeah. And then you start, and it's just, it starts with little tiny decisions, little tiny choices, decisions that you make. And it's all for you, Capricorn. It's all for you. And then you get a name and then you get a reputation and then you're known for whatever it is that you do. I just used stained glass as an example. A musician, a writer, a poet, anything. A creator. High Priestess. And that which you might not see clarifying the High Priestess is the Page of Cups, something brand new that you love to do, Capricorn. Listen to that intuition of yours and take that road to wands, the road to creativity. What are you creating? And if it is something that is of value to you, it'll be to value to others as well. Ooh, Capricorn. Let's get some angel numbers on this. I see 259. We don't have a lot of numbers on the table. 259. 259. You are connected to divine guidance and the inspiration you are receiving is real, Capricorn. It's real. Mm. I see 592. And then let's do 259. Let's do two. We just did 259. So let's do 952 and then 592. So 952. You are being guided to face anything that is standing in your way because once you have done so, the magic you have been dreaming of will be revealed. So stay focused. Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. Five, nine, two. Last one. 
you are in touch with people who could be influential on your journey. Three of Pentacles right there. And powerfully supportive of your growth. So keep growing, Capricorn. And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.